Come here, John.
You don't happen to have a pocket knife on you by chance, do you? No. Can we cut the twisty ties? Sir, please. I'm gonna take this off. That way I can let the camera rest for a while. There's four of them, so you might have to cut like at least four of them. The other tied. Unless you have a trick. Is it alright that I stand out here? Mm -hmm. We're just about to cross Lovato. Yeah, just hold on tight. Thanks, John. Back down below that we're going to be going on. And we're going to do a scoop up ahead. The Dozier is down back.
memberships range per year. But man, the benefits of it, you get half off of the pages. And you get to come out for work sessions. They tell me it's a nice deal here. That's what I was doing yesterday. I was pulling weed. I have a bread sticker. I pulled a weed. I was a whole different time. It's always a nightmare to do those weeds. Now the first three hours away. Plus, we're losing a lot of members fast. I can say. This is the older generation that are leaving us. There's not many of us young generations left. Yeah. I've been trying to put out the word, but it's not helping. That's a little late. In the spring, in summertime, you can swim in it. It's like a pool. Now, once we turn the trees, look down at the valley. So this is the San Luis Valley. Well, not here, but once we go past, farther out, yeah. So the tracks and tell me to connect to El Mocha before we walk in the mountain. follow us back to Ozer. He's going back to Ashnito. Like we are. This is the Los Pinos River, or lake as we call it now. Usually this whole pasture is flooded. flooded. It's underneath the water down the time. But now since we're in the fall, and we even hit down a bunch of rain up here, that's what it's going to be at. Get snow this season that we were hoping for, and this whole area will be under water again. So 
because we've had actually water come up to the track. Let me say this, it's not fun when you have to go through wet track. These are old railroad ties that used to be right here. They're, they're heavy. They're too heavy. You can't. Well, they are. They're over 100 pounds. You know, you want to know how many it takes? You want to know how many it takes to pick up one of those? Four. That's nightmare. Chama. But I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change. I've if seen you're, her. If you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was going to say if you're hanging out, you should slide me down. Because um, what time does the bus, what, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I'd say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of 168. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean out the book box to make sure that the uh, Yeah, for the rotary, yeah. Yeah, they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours. I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. Really? It took me two days. Two days, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right to the canyon. Oh, cool. Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? Or? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C-130s. C-130s, yeah, I yeah. think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these? In a way. Um, they can't. Not really. No. I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyons. Built They'll turn them on their side and fly and control that door. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole. This is a whole training ground for them here. Yeah. For uh, Afghanistan, I believe. And Baghdad, yeah. The first time I all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thank you. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is Chama. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah. At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh my goodness. It's still worse. There's double the weeds that I pulled. Remember the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Oh. Fine. Oh, oh, Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Where all that. The where all the derailments happened. Oh, no, that's a. That's a. Oh, yeah, derailments up at Phantom. Yeah, but uh, the real thing was that 
Toltec, or the, what's that called? The calico cut, I get over there. Calico cut, yeah. That has been given us pain for, uh, what, 130, 139 years now? For the back cut? Fighting down on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one, too, here. Not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, uh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, sheep cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming through. Uh, the, um, the head-on? 169 and 411? Yeah. Uh, 169 is actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure it's going to be busted up and keep it running. Cause it, wasn't that an express train or something? Express and a freight head on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, there's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here, it was actually probably a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it, was just, it, was, it was between Rock Tunnel and uh, California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those freight cars up from down there. Uh, not. You think they're still in good condition even? No. I mean, we've got that, we've got better condition freight cars that need restoration here. Yeah. In the yards. And they're going to make those out of a canyon. True. Yeah. yeah. Would it be worth displaying them at least? Maybe. See, I think that would be a, I think that would be more of a, like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. Yeah, but how would we get down there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osier out there. Or could you? I think you could run a, I think you could run a, um, a flat with a train bolted onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work train that they have, uh, that old diesel work train from the, uh, they need to do a shop up in the restoration shed if you ever get a chance. Yeah, but uh, I'll bet you that would probably be started up on this side, pulled over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah, but I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if if they still at all. last this long. There we go. They're probably in worse condition than we thought. Oh, here's the Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve, big, uh, big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, Phantom Curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. That's so fine. Country, you know? It's God's country. Yep. Yeah. The little flat spot right there? Yeah. That's one of the little, uh, little uh, summer cabins. Wait, where? That little flat spot. I'd love to put a little summer cabin right oh, there. Yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Or do you live in Antonito? Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Going to school out there or to your friend? Nah, it's just that where I'm just where I live right now. Oh, okay. And I'm from Houston, Texas. But I'll probably be moving somewhere out west after this. Oh really? Yeah. How far out west do you want to go? No, not yet. I might even move up to New England somewhere. It all depends. My wife's still in school. She's on her last semester of her neuroscience degree. So we're looking at grad school for her right now. Not bad. So it depends on where. Yeah, it does. It also depends on the money. Yeah. <laughs> we will pay her. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Where's the pressure at? Almost to 80 pounds of pressure. What's up? We're almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. So 
them back up. Huh? Fell them back up. Yep. And it was at 90 when we got up here. To, to, oh, sir. Well, they did the running brake test. Huh? He did the running brake test, checked it all in. Yep. This isn't the side you have to worry too much about anyway. We don't have anything steeper than a one and a half. Yep. See here RGS twenty is back at um Colorado Air Museum. Oh really? He's back. Oh nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's nice. certified at 120 PSI. That's what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and good she's coming here. We actually have she plans. Yeah. Well, she's that. not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. There's still other things to put on her, but yeah. How long she be? How long she been underway? I I say many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Strasburg, you said? Strasburg did the full main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg is good on that. Yeah. I should have sent her here. I guess we would have need more staff, but we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the, especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. It must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Huh? Stand right here and we just stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right, my tunnel. Yep. Fast 311. Huh? Fast 311. Yep, my post 311. I'm going after RGS 41 and not very far. They never run that engine anymore. You want to buy it? Uh, I'm actually trying to acquire it. DNS. Top crew own it. Really? Yeah, their old timers that used to that still work at Drango own RGS 41. So they're just loving it basically, I mean basically it's a static model over there. It runs. Oh, it does run? Yeah. But I want to get it out of there and turn it back to coal. Even an oil burn. Wow. It shouldn't be too hard to turn it back to oil. Only oil coal. The only locomotives that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. Huh? Only engines that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. I don't like what they're doing with their uh, K-37 over there at the DNS. Well, they have to do that lawsuit. They're in the fire. Oh, yeah, here comes my tunnel. Yeah. They said DNS started it. Yeah, they did. Yep. For sure. Oh, yeah, mud tunnel. This yeah. is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the, on the DNS fire. And? You know, I gotta actually say I agree with the FRA on I do too. Well, um, it came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't, they weren't adequately prepared, they weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We take our fire patrol. Seriously, yeah. And, you know, for years and years, people are like, why are we doing this? All this why are we doing it? All this stuff. Uh, yep, all this stuff. Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to Yep. That's why they're turning 497 down auto burner. 18s are still there. They're turning into a freaking K35. At least 2,000 pounds of traction for it. Yeah. True. for a while. We don't have any lighting in here. So this is all the light you get from up there and then we're in here and then next one is mud tunnel. Huh? This one and the next one up ahead. Yep. There you go. Full season view of Toltec Gorge. Because the mountain right here was blasted with dynamite. Yep. This is all that made. 
U.S. Army did this for us, the military, when we were building this line. For their practice runs, would come out here and make holes for us. Now, mud tunnel is a whole different story. Yep, the one that's made all out of mud with um, railroad ties holding it up. Really? Yep, because it's a support beam along the whole tunnel. You'll see it when we go through. Because the entrance even has the railroad ties on it. I think we're coming up. We should be coming up to it pretty soon. The tunnels are real close to each other. Thing you don't want to do is lose your phone out here because you yeah. cannot recover it. There's no road down through Toltec Gorge at all. card number two anyways. I filled up a whole SD card on the first card. Oh, yeah. Hour worth of footage, yeah. All the way from Chama. I was recording all the way up to Lovato. And then I would do it between the pass and stuff. Does it record sound too? Yep. Well, my voice is on your... Who cares? It's fine. It's okay. Hey, I was talking the whole way up. Plus, it's in 4K, so who cares? I don't. Plus, this goes on to YouTube, so I'm not real worried about it. After it's done, I process it. So what I do is I upload it raw. I don't even edit it. I leave it as is. Yep. Because a lot of people said it's better unedited than edited. Which I've learned it's better. Be careful of these trees. I believe it's coming up. Rock tunnel. Oh, that gorge. My tunnel. Yeah, it should be next. Because that one is not as dark as this one was. Probably see it when on your end when we make the curve. Yeah, yeah, it's still straight away. Yep. So it's on the long the straighter way or it's snowy. I think we have the curve and then my tunnel. It was right before um another like tanglefoot curve but we're going to go through whiplash curve so it should be coming up after that or unless
That's fine. How far are we from my tunnel? My tunnel? Yeah. I know we just went through Rock Tunnel. It's going to take about nine minutes, eight minutes. That's what um, I was wondering. About two miles. Yeah. Do you think 168 is out running today? Uh, no, but she was yesterday. I know she was out yesterday. Did you get pictures of her? I wasn't here. Oh, wait. How far did she go? Uh, 287 and a half. Yeah, I see, was I was in... The, I was on the curb. Oh. See, I was in Chama. I missed it. Oh, man. Now, they're not going to be running... Tomorrow or today, but they might tomorrow. Yeah. So I don't think I'll be on the roof for that one. Yeah. But uh, yeah. If you can tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm off to Durango. Uh, that's Sadly. You buy your tickets already? I'm just going up to Rail Fan for the night. Oh, cool. But yeah, that was fun going through Rock Tunnel. I never been went through it before. Oh, you just did you uh
careful up there.
Tarantino, head of the line. Four ninety four, uh, or four ninety five.
Williams and Tonino into the line. Four ninety four uh, or four ninety five. Four eight four and four eighty seven with the engine house. We're coming live from the Coombers on Toltec Scenic Road on the back of the parlor car, all the way up to Ozier and back. So once we get moving, I'll start videotaping more. Goodbye.
this is the Cumbridge Toll Ticket. We're on Lovato Trestle right now. All right, we're getting ready to go. We got the engines hooked up. You may want to hold on, we're getting ready to move. Okay. Yeah. The train's on this side where I'm standing right now. Yeah. Just hold on to something because we got the 484 hooked up. 487 and 484. Trying to find the grade.
have switch trains to 315 and 463. We'll get going here hopefully on time. So I'll start filming when we go. Bye. Oh, that's where it is. <laughs> 